Look how retro that is. Look at that. So there's lots and lots of things that I really like about working for Futera, but one of them is, is that we get deliveries of uh, football shirts, match-worn football shirts, training tops, shorts, uh, coats, the lot, uh, from some of the biggest names in football, and then we put them into our memorabilia cards. So um, that's something that we pride ourselves on at Futera. I think we were one of the first trading card companies to, to do this. Uh, but we put these 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 pieces of memorabilia into our cards, and our collectors love it, as you can imagine. You know, they get their favourite player, um, a card of their favourite player, and it has a bit of that that player's match worn shirt within it. It's amazing. But from my side. Uh, from from uh, from from the inside, we get deliveries of these shirts uh, delivered to us, and I get to go through them all. So it's Monday, and um, well, happy Monday to me. See, I'm just waiting for a delivery. Uh, I've I've got the um, I've just had the details come through here. The courier should be here anytime now. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna sit tight and wait for him. Hopefully, it won't be too much longer. It says it's it's uh, the delivery is really close. So um, yeah, fingers crossed. He won't be he won't be too long. And uh, when he gets here, I'm going to go through these shirts with you and you can see exactly what we've got to put in our cards. Oh, oh, oh! This thing is heavy. Must be some some big boy shirts in this uh, in this box. I'm going to be henched by the time I get to the top of the stairs. Just going to have a little drink of water, compose myself. Mm. Right then, let's get going then, shall we? What? Oh man, that's look at this. What the? How big is this? This is it. Look at that, Lazio, Lazio, go Lazio! Oh, this is massive, man. This is. I think this is Sven Goran Eriksson's training jacket when he was Lazio manager. It's a long time ago. Oh, smells of Sven. Smells Swedish. Right there, towel, Puma sample. I think they only make, you won't get that in the club shop. They only do that for the clubs, I think. How big is this, man? I, I haven't got a, uh, I haven't got a dog, but I'd potentially steal one just so I could walk a dog in this coat. This is a proper dog walking coat. Sven was a big guy. How big is this coat? Look at it. It's like a tent. I mean, no wonder Eureka Johnson liked him. He was a big guy, wasn't he, Sven? Right, next one then. Perugia. Perugia. Look at that. That is proper Nakata. That's a that's a, a 90s icon, if ever uh, there was one. Nakata was like a Japanese international. I think he was put up for a Ballon d'Or. You got a dragon on the badge. You got dragons there. You got dragons on the sleeve. You got a dragon thing on the sponsor. There's dragons everywhere. But Galax did so. I mean, that's a real 90s shirt, isn't it? Look how retro that is. Look at that. I don't. I don't. I think. Nakata was like the first Japanese player that I'd heard of. Um, I don't remember there being any Japanese players at that time in the Premier League. He, he was like the first. He might have even been one of the first Japanese players to play in Europe. So these kits are iconic, man. That's an iconic player. I love them. Look at them. There's one down. All right, what's this one? Oh, Jean-Luigi Donnarumma. Why am I being French? I think that this kid's like Italy's youngest ever goalkeeper, I think. Which is, you know, fair... A fair achievement when you think consider some of the amazing goalkeepers that Italy have had down the years. He's the maybe the heir to Buffon's throne, and I think as well he got COVID at the start of all this business. So I hope he's feeling better now. But these are nice, aren't they? I can imagine wearing these to the beach. A proper beach shorts. And he played over like two hundred times for AC Milan, and he's only twenty one. He's he's uh, he might already be the captain at AC Milan. It's incredible. But I like these. I like these shorts. I like the colour. They're. Uh, they're cool, aren't they? Number 12. Donnarumma. Right, next up. What have we got here? Out. Oh, hey. Jesus. Jesus. Bernardo Silva. Manchester City training shirts. Both of these players are, are really, really good. I am uh, privileged to have seen both of them live. Tearing Everton up on a couple of occasions at Goodison Park. But that's beside the point. I always like Jesus' goal celebrations. Um... He gives it the weather. Just, I, I, I really rate him. I think sometimes he doesn't get the credit he deserves because he's kind of like compared to Aguero. And that's a bit unfair. 
but he can play with both feet. He's potent. As I said, I've seen him. I've seen him play us off the park um, <laughs> uh, a couple of times for Manchester City. So oh, that's a nice badge. Look how that's embroidered in there. Hey, oh, oh, hey, Slamar, fifty-fifty. <laughs> The Atletico badge always interests me. It looks like a fusion between Winnie the Pooh and the American flag. That's a good one though, isn't it? Not too not not a massive fan of the colours, but that's a good one. <sighs> oh, what's this one? Ah, Lazio! Lazio! Salas! Hero of uh, of Chile, actually. Signed by the great man himself. Let's bring that up close. He Salas played an exhibition match in like 1999 or whatever it was when he was going to retire and um, I think it was a friendly and 60,000 people turned up and he scored three for both sides I think that day a couple of marks and that on the shirt here so you can tell it's match worn yeah this one definitely hasn't been washed either oh oh this, one. this is an interesting one Draxler signed again by the man himself that's a lovely kit that's a proper funky kit Draxler's a good player man two-footed got everything I think there you go as well, paying homage to Germany's World Cup win. It's kind of nice. That feels nice. The badge feels really nice as well. Dusche Fußballbund. That shouldn't have done that. This is being linked with Leeds at the moment. So that'd be a that'd be a good signing for Leeds. That's a nine out of ten football kit for me. Yeah, Germans are good at football kits. They're good at making things work and football kits. I do like this one. I mean, look at the difference though. Again, in like so you've got nineties there. Look how like. You can't tell us, but how heavy this is. Like, uh, that's, that's like, just, that, that's, that would be so, this is so much more comfortable to play football in, to just kind of like do anything in than this one. This one, this one weigh you down. It's, it's quite heavy. It's just incredible to see, I suppose, to, to, to put these both side by side and see the difference in, in, in engineering of football kits over the years. Who's this one? Number 99, it's Milik, I think. There we go, signed by in there. You can see, look at the dirt marks. Must have been putting a couple of tackles in that day. Well, this is a funky colour. Look at this one. Higuain. Hey. He's another beast. Playing out in uh, Miami now. Good work if you can get it. I actually got engaged in Miami. Not that that is relevant at all to this video. Napoli are like oh, such a cool club. Thanks for Ancelotti, lads. Ah, oh, this is it. I like this shirt though. Look at that. Marks. Looks like he got into a bit of a scuffle. Some more marks down there at the bottom. Earned his money this day, didn't he, Higuain, whenever he wore this? Alright, last one. Hey. Totti. It's me trying to be Italian again. I think I had this shirt back in the day. Not 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 with Totti on the back, but I, I vaguely remember having an AS Roma one when I was younger with this sponsor on the front. This is a proper gory 90s shirt again. Long sleeve. Wow, look at that. Totti, one club man. He's a loyal servant of AS Roma. He used to have the best. Um, I really like this badge, by the way. Look how, look how that sticks out. He used to have, he, Totti used to have the, the funkiest um, goal celebrations. I remember one time he scored against Lazio, ran up to the cameraman, turned the cameraman on the AS Roma fans as they were going ballistic. Now, ah, what a fun... What a fun 10 minutes I've had. Right, well, as I said at the top of this video, all of these pieces of memorabilia are going to go inside Futera shirts. I suppose I should get on with some proper work now, but at lunchtime, I'm going to go and steal a dog and walk him or her in Svengor and Ericsson's extra large Lazio coat. <laughs>